Why is the blockchain such a big deal? Is it because of the magic internet money and the Bitcoins and the Moon Boys and the Lambo and the next coming get rich quick scheme? No, it's not. The blockchain is much more than cryptocurrency, which is just but one application. The blockchain is such a big deal because it provides the potential of offering a property rights system for the digital age. And that is a big one. Until now, the digital age doesn't have a property rights system. They are, it's, it's very difficult to own data, to own information. And the blockchain provides that solution. Now, if that information is a currency, call it cryptocurrencies. But there's many other things you can own and give ownership to with regards to data and information. And that is a really big deal. Now, that also will come with all the implications of a property owning system with regard to its economic implications, which finally truly will unleash the power of the digital age. We haven't seen, seen nothing yet with the social implication, also with its power redistribution uh, implications and with inequality. All of these things come with a property registration system. And that actually is what the blockchain is about. So let's have a look to, to, to understand why it is such a big deal. We pull back the big curtain and start well from the beginning of technological innovations when we transform, started to learn to transform matter with the Stone Age, Bronze Age, then we in the Industrial Revolutions, we learned to transform energy. And now we are getting the hang of transforming information. So we went from matter to energy to information. And this is the Schumpeterian framework of from innovation theory. I kindly, if, if, if you are not familiar with that, please check out these, these other uh, lectures here to see what that is about. And that's how innovation theorists like I look at that. Technology is the driver of societal progress, of economic, social, cultural, all of that together, of progress. That's what distinguished us from the rest of the animals, and we surely, even if evolution, the biological evolution is extremely slow, we have evolved in the last hundred years only, hundreds of years, because of technological innovation. So we evolved with that. So that's how we usually look at that. And that's the framework that, had, that we have been used in this uh, entire set of lectures. Now, this is Schumpeter, the prophet of innovation, as they call him. But there are other economists that say like, no, no, that is not correct. We could organize it completely differently. For example, this gentleman, Douglas North, he won the Nobel Prize in economics. And for what? The Nobel Prize Committee said he won it because he argued that technical innovations alone are insufficient to propel economic development. Technological innovations are insufficient? It's an innovation theorist, like, you know, that's blasphemy, right? Why is technology not enough? What else is needed there, Professor North? Tell us. Well, this book is called Institution Property Rights and Economic Growth. So it's about property rights, he said. And he distinguishes two different periods here. He said the first economic revolution is the agricultural revolution. He says it was a revolution because the transition created for mankind an incentive change of fundamental proportions. So we got moving because we got incentivized. Why did we get incentivized? Well, because we finally owned something and that really got our ego going and got us going. Before that, if you think back, we were all living in tribes. And also when Europeans came to, to encounter tribes that didn't have the European ideal. Well, the indigenous tribes here in Americas, for example, they could say like, you cannot own land. You cannot own land. The earth does not belong to us. We belong to the earth. So they didn't understand how could you own a piece of land? And what? well, we came here and we said, no, you can own land. And that is what Professor North means. It got us really motivated. There was an incentive. Once we could own land, matter, any kind of matter, raw material and so forth, natural resources, we get really incentivized. So that got the economic revolution going. So we learned how to dominate matter and we invented the plow back in the Stone Age and well, the Iron Age and the Bronze Age and so forth. And we started to work the land. But the argument here is only once we 
owned this matter, when we had a property rights organization system, then we really unleashed the economic potential of it. And something similar happens what Douglas North calls the second economic revolution, the industrial revolution. So the industrial revolution is about energy, let's say the transformation of potential. And there we also had a property rights system that unleashed potential. We call it the intellectual property rights system. And the question is now, what and is there a property rights system for the digital age, for the age where we manipulate in information. So let's say again, in the first economic revolution, the agricultural revolution, we had property of matter, land, for example, but also you could, uh, you could own metals and natural resources and oil, and it's still very important. If you own a lot of oil, well, that is beneficial. We still, it's a big economic incentive. In the second economic revolution, we own potential ideas. Edison, the biggest inventor of intellectual property, more than a thousand patents, all of these patents and so forth. So these are potential ideas that you can implement. That's during the age where we started to harness energy, which is actually also potential. Potential. And the question now is, can we have property of symbols? Symbols, data, it doesn't even have to be information. Maybe we can just own data and symbols. We could also own information and the knowledge, which provides meaning to them. But is there a property system in order to manage that? Well, spoiler alert, there is, and it's called the blockchain. So that's what the potential, that's why the blockchain is such a big deal. Now, the blockchain provides the technological solution to offer a property rights system that it allows to give property to information. And that's a really big deal. At least we have some registry we can register. Now, that doesn't mean that it doesn't solve the technological adoption problem. So just because you have something that's technologically possible doesn't mean that society adopted it. So the blockchain right now is still diffusing and it might or might not be completely adopted. We don't know yet. Now it's diffusing extremely quickly. So many people think it's a pretty good bet that we more sooner than later will have adopted it. And while this diffusion happens, there's a lot of economic possibilities that can be exploited. And this diffusion process then also creates a process of creative destruction. New institutions need to be created. And there are a lot of other lectures, please check them out, uh, where we talk about how that process happens, which is a more, more economic and social institutional adjustment process, which is also very important. But of course, for example, just because you have a registry of data, you just have it's a paper or a digital ledger where it says it's, your, it's yours, this thing is yours, well, then you can say, hey, it's mine. And, and what are you going to do? Cry about it if, if nobody gives it to you? So there ne still needs to be an institutional structure that then executes and gives you the property. And maybe even the police has to come in and go in and say like, no, this is not your property. This is the property of this other person. So somebody, humans still need to execute it. So an information registry alone doesn't solve that. And I want to be very clear, but the blockchain has the potential or it is providing a technolo an ingenious technological solution to give property to information. And that is the absolutely necessary but not sufficient condition to provide a property rights system for the digital age.